The Corvallis man who trespassed and turned off a valve on an oil pipeline at the coal bank's landing near Fort Benton two years ago today learned his sentence. Leonard Higgins given a three-year deferred sentence and ordered to pay $3,755 in restitution. Higgins did not deny what he did but argued that the imperative to prevent climate harms justified his action. Higgins was part of an organized effort by climate activists to disrupt pipeline operations in several northern states. Two men who allegedly locked themselves to barrels outside the Stevens Creek Bison facility last Friday took two different directions in court today. Joshua Rivera of Colorado accepted a plea deal. He pleaded guilty to misdemeanor trespassing and obstruction. Rivera is ordered to pay Yellowstone National Park more than $1,900. Mark Wolf of Illinois pleaded not guilty to obstructing an agency function, obstructing a government worker, and closure violations. His next court date is set for April 4th at the Yellowstone Park Justice Center.